I found out about JT's fibre broadband um, by being involved with JT in their planning uh, through my involvement with Digital Jersey and the Chartered Institute of IT. And of course, I'm a, a customer of JT as a consumer point of view, so I get the newsletters through the door. Before we had fibre connected, we were on an 8 meg copper connection through JT, and our experience was pretty good. The only problem we had was that we had to be careful if we wanted to watch a movie on iPlayer, for example, and Skype the family. I'm not sure I'd say we're a high internet use family, but we do have quite a number of devices connected at home, and I think a lot of people would have more than they actually realise they have. We've probably got 10 or 12 devices at home that are internet connected. There wasn't an installation charge and I didn't incur any costs. Um, in fact, I probably saved a, a cost because my old Netgear Wi-Fi router was up for renewal. I needed to change that anyway. And uh, JT Supply, uh, a wireless router, so that's avoided that cost for me. We did upgrade our bandwidth and we went from eight to 50 meg and that's cost us an extra one pound a month. Switching to fibre has changed the way we use the internet because now we don't have to worry about uh, slowing other, other users down. We can Skype, we can watch catch up movies on iPlayer or browse when we want to. The installation process was fairly painless. Uh, two engineers for about four hours on a Saturday afternoon. Um, they took time to understand where I wanted the wireless router, where I wanted the, uh, the fibre connection to go and where I wanted my telephone. Um, and then they saw that as a challenge and they did a really neat job. The JT engineers will install effectively three boxes. There's a wireless router, which most, most people have today. There's what they call an ONT box, which is the size of a, a very small shoe box, and then there's a, a cable connector. You need to think about where you want those situated in your house, and you also need to make sure that wherever they are, that there's a dedicated power socket for those. When you have fibre installed, there are a number of options as to where you might site the, the JT equipment. Obviously the, the wireless router, you'll put that in a central place in your house and it's likely that you've got a wireless router somewhere in your house today anyway. But the, uh, this ONT box, think about where you'd have that. You could have that installed in your garage or under the stairs, for example. If you're thinking about installing fibre, I would say go ahead and do it. But just think about the installation process first, about where you want things sited in your house. If you do move to fibre, think about upgrading your bandwidth because that will allow you to use the internet in ways in which you haven't imagined before. In summary, I'd recommend switching to JT Fibre. The installation process for us was, was painless and very good. Um, we had some technical issues because we were one of the first uh, houses to switch to the new 50 meg service, but JT have now resolved that and the service is running well. JT's fibre allows us to um, use the internet without, without having to worry about the impact on, on other piece, people on our service. So now, for example, we can watch movies on iPlayer and we can Skype family at the same time without worrying.